Wake up! Eugene, wake up! Come on, bud! Dark Magician Girl's real, okay? That didn't work either? <sighs> Will you at least eat something? Do, 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 do. All you do is hide out here and eat all my food. <clears throat> and? I'm gonna snap you into Eugene's head and you're gonna wake him up. Hell no! I know what you're doing! You just don't want to go in there yourself! Well, no, but it looks like I'm gonna have to do it because... You'll probably screw it up anyways. And what's that supposed to mean? It means you're gonna get stuck in the hentai section that's gonna inevitably be in there. You sure do pass a lot of judgment for being Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. Hell yeah! Some judgment's a kick-ass card! I love that card. Super Polly says hi! Oh, shut up. I'm gonna eat all that guy's food. Do do! Do do do! <laughs> In before Naruto and Dark Magician Girls everywhere. Oh, hey. I guess this time we have Dragon Ball and Bird Girls. That's all interchangeable at this point. You're not too cool for everything, you know. Oh, no, I love Dragon Ball. And Yu-Gi-Oh, obviously. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Master Rule 5 isn't that bad, Eugene. Actually, it's not Master Rule 5. Oh my god, shut up. For simplicity's sake, it's Master Rule 5. Well, how is it not bad? Because it makes Link arrows more of Link's gimmick, which makes it even more right. Synchros didn't force everyone to start playing tuner monsters. They should have used links to fix the game, like, I don't know, like they were supposed to do in the first place. Players enjoy making broken boards just as much as they like complaining about them. They don't know what they want. Unlocking the extra deck is gonna make Yu-Gi-Oh! even more crazy than it already is. And you're always preaching about well-rounded formats. How the hell are you gonna get a well-rounded format from all the chaos that's gonna come? Yeah, that synchro stuff's gonna get stupid again, and it's already starting. But through bandless changes, net decking, and just new cards coming out, it'll round out eventually. Plus, I figured you'd like all the diversity. I'm the one that likes to play poker when I play Yu-Gi-Oh. There's just so many cards out now, and they keep coming out with more. Oh, yeah, that's what keeps the game going, Eugene. Look, if you want to play old Yu-Gi-Oh, then play Goats, play Teledad, play Steam, play Dino Rabbit, play any legacy format that tons of players still play and don't give a shit. Just play and have fun. There's not even cash prizes in Yu-Gi-Oh anyways. It's always weirded me out that people take it so seriously. But I want to win, you know, sometimes at least. Then do what I do and play anti-meta crap until a deck does come out that you do want to learn how to play and pick up. That's it. I mean, I have more fun just messing around with the same old stuff with my friends than I do, like, trying to keep up with all this new crap, especially with the rule changes around the corner. I'm just gonna wait for that to come. So, you're saying I should play True Draco? For the love of God, no. Not at all. Not in your life. Never. No, 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 no. That deck should die and people that play it should feel bad. Jeez, fine, I'll play something else then. But you'll come out. Yeah, let's go. Even in my own head, you have to do the clap thing? Plus there's so much more we haven't even talked about yet, like Burning Abyss not needing links anymore. Or did, 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 did. And cards like Nightmare Shark and Zulkin are gonna be good, not to mention stuff like Starlight Road, which is random, but I haven't heard anybody talk about that. Very nice. And the coolest thing is, Black Wings are gonna be so powerful! No, they're still gonna suck. Nah, -uh. Bad. Compared to everything else that's gonna be running around, so bad. It could be worse, I guess. They could be coming out with new cards to go along with this rule change. No, dude, it's even worse than that. They're coming out with rush duels just like they did with speed duels. They could at least give us a full online game. 
I feel bad for those YGO Pro guys. They must be real dorks. It's a labor of love what those guys do for sure. <laughs> but what I never understood is why Konami just doesn't host GOAT tournaments. I mean, everybody loves old school Yu-Gi-Oh! And you don't see them put Quasar over everything like they do with the Egyptian God cards. And I never understood making money off of your old property that way and not off of GOAT tournaments. It's just, it's just something that always kind of creeped me out and weirded me out that they never did. Right? I always thought Yu-Gi-Oh was Yu-Gi-Oh. They obviously know that they could take advantage of, you know, old school Yu-Gi-Oh, but they won't have legacy tournaments? Do the new cards look good at least? God, no. You wanna see? Oh, I don't know about that right now. I, I, I just woke up. I've been asleep for so long. I, I really don't wanna push it. Aw, they're not that bad. Come on, time. Oh, come on, you weenie. I haven't even shown you how bad the new anime art is yet, or the FTKs that people have come up with. Come on. <sighs> Shit. Subscribe! <laughs>